Good afternoon. This is Rob from Next Truck Sales. I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2006 Freightliner Century. It features a Caterpillar C15 435 horse with a 13 speed manual. You might recognize the color being Werner blue and it's got lots of mileage. It's old and tired looking, but best feature of it is obviously the Caterpillar twin turbo C15, which runs good and isn't leaking oil. So I'll take you through the truck, show you the condition of it overall and, uh, and show you, get the engine running for you, obviously, and give you the opportunity to have a listen to it running. Um, being an 06, obviously it's pre-emission. Uh, it does have the ACERT feature, which is the twin turbo, which eliminated the need for an EGR valve. So there's no emission controls on this truck, just a twin turbo and a C15. Take a look at the back here. We've got Virgin Drive tires, offshore brand, somewhere between, I'll say 40 to 60%, oh, 40 to 50% tread on those. Uh, frame is frame is old and crusty, but intact. It's got a high sliding fifth wheel. That is a high uh, mount on there. That is a, um, looks like a Fontaine and it's got the high legs on it. So that'll be set up for hauling tank. If that's what you wanted to do. It's got 40,000 pound suspension. Uh, here we've got more mismatched offshore tires and these are all in between let's say 40 and 50 percent as well. Uh, we've got a cab guard headache rack on the back. Full chassis skirts. Missing some paint. Somebody at some point in time has done some touch up with a rattle can. Uh, I'm going to get you a, uh, a good look under the hood and we'll have a listen to this engine running. Okay, we got Michelin steering tires. These are, what size are they? 11R225s. On both sides, mashing Michelins. Okay, and we've got our Acert engine. Now take a look here, you will see a newer alternator and like it said, dry, no leaks, which is important because Caterpillar engines are, are good, uh, but they can get expensive to fix nowadays. The parts are getting hard to find. So bear that in mind if you're watching this video that um, overhaul kits are expensive as are um, uh, repair parts. They're getting increasingly harder to find. Uh, let me start this truck up. I had it running to bring it into this spot. It was parked where that Hyundai is and it had been sitting for about a week and it fired right up. So that is one other nice feature of the cat. They do tend to run well for a long period of time and they start well too. So let's turn this over and see what happens. So I've got, I'm gonna back up here. I've got the oil fill, fill the cap off so you can see the blow by. to have all cat filters on it. It looks reasonably dry. So, obviously a truck with this kind of mileage, it's got 1.2 million on it. Um, Doing an overhaul is going to be something that you're going to at some point need to consider. I don't think based on the amount of blow by there that I saw, it's something that you're going to need to worry about today or even within the next year, unless you have some form of a catastrophic failure because it is, it is running good. It starts well and it runs good, but these are things that you need to consider when you're buying a truck of this age um, and with an obsolete engine that you might have trouble finding parts for. So take a look here. We've got one touchdown. The Century was an upgrade from the Columbia. It had a couple of extra features. It had some computer stuff over here. Um, and obviously you can see inside of this one here, it's 
had the wood grain dash, a 13 speed manual. Um, we've got dual bunks, so we can get some mattresses and put them in here. Not a problem. Slightly upgraded carpeting. This was in its day, believe it or not, the top of the line Freightliner that you could get. So I'll give you a good look here. Uh, overall condition, probably five out of 10. Certainly not great. I mean, we've got some old cigarette burns. That was, it doesn't smell like smoke, but it was probably smoked in 15 years ago. Uh, we've got a power inverter. Not sure if that works. No, it looks like it might. Uh, look over here, we'll get the, you got a bunk heater. And on all your older Freightliners, you'll have your, your serial numbers. So 435 cat, let's see if we can zoom in on that or focus on that. 435 cat, serial number ending 2193, gear ratio 355, 230 wheelbase. The truck was made by Freightliner in Portland, Oregon, of all places. I mean, them all in Mexico nowadays, but there you have it. So that hopefully that gives you a good idea of the truck. Um, if you happen to be watching this video and you're in the U.S., our price does include delivery to Buffalo. You'll take delivery of the truck from Buffalo, and that includes the paperwork that you'll need to convert the title from Canada to USA. Uh, that's included, and we take care of the paperwork. We're going to give you everything that you need in order to go to the DMV and get it switched over. Okay, so we've got... An older cat, pre-emission cat, seems to be running good. And there we go. My phone doesn't seem to want to focus. I apologize for that. I don't know how much of the video I cut without focusing. Now, there you have it. If you want a cheap old truck that runs good, maybe if you're not going too terribly far and you just need something for local P&D, this might be a perfect workhorse for you. So give me a call at 844-489-8789. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.